Hi folks, let's set up the SMW mod vise or modular vise system. Every mod vise comes with the solid bar that's used when we're trying to do a finishing operation or we don't want to mar the part. Today we're going to start off though pulling that bar out and using two of the Mighty Bite Talon grips to hold on to low profile. I'll make sure the bottom surface is free of chips and we'll set it on our fixture plate like so. Now you can have the parallel secured in or a lot of times we'll use the button head cap screws just to keep the parallel attached but allow it to float slightly so that it acts as a parallel against the fixture plate. And use the included one inch cap screws and secure this down. And you can tighten those by hand. We recommend a torque wrench. That's at 40 foot-pounds. We'll take our adjustable side, make sure the bottom is clean. We'll set it on our plate. And we'll put our workpiece in just to get us an idea. And take the included set screws that have the hex head on them. We'll thread them in. We can take our part out for a minute. We'll set our bar on, washer and nut. So it's important to note, the adjustable side is not what creates your clamping pressure. We have the angle simply to hold it securely in place so that when we apply pressure with the car lanes, it doesn't scoot back on us. So we can now use a quarter inch wrench to keep that cap screw from rotating as we snug down our bevel washer. And so again, at this point, it's okay to be able to take the part in and out. The way the mod vice system works is the part is squared up against the fixed position and the four posts of the adjustable side allow you to keep it square when you tighten it in place. And when you're ready to secure your workpiece, you can tighten down the car lane tiny vices, which are generating your clamping pressure. You can use a hand tool, but we always recommend a torque wrench when possible. Car lane recommends 2.4 foot pounds. We've been tightening them down to about 70 inch pounds, which is just under six foot pounds. When you're done, you can loosen your clamps, pull your part out. If you're doing a batch, you can drop the next part right in and re-tighten down the tiny vices. When it comes to finishing work, again, you can rotate the tiny vise to the smooth side and you can remove the Mighty Bite talon grips and put in the Saunders Machine Works smooth bar. It has a higher clamping profile, but it's a non-marring surface that'll let you do finishing ops or other work holding where you don't want to leave any witness marks on your part. Solid models are available to download and use in your setups in Fusion 360. Scroll all the way down to cam samples, work holding, Saunders Machine Works, and here's the mod device that you can use it in your work holding, fixturing, and setups. Thanks, folks.